February 19, 2020 it is. Uh, this is a really, really interesting situation, case, which relates to many, many, many other cases. Many, many, I'm not going to say identical, but yeah, the, the, the type of the situation itself, identical setups, uh, which Polish state definitely uh, attempted to confuse with. I, I would not know what exactly I'm doing. Uh, and believe me, I was tested time and again. They would use the word schizophrenia. They would use the words in this here. You're going to hear Bologna and stuff like this. You're going to hear, uh, I mean, this isn't going to be the only uh, audio I'm going to play. There's going to be a lot of other stuff I'm going to play. Um, prior to my arrival to the certain areas, like prior to Grotniki, prior to Zgirsh, prior to Loj, wherever I would appear and they knew for location where I would appear, of course they had this uh, old business owners I would recognize in businesses and so on. Uh, but what they would also do is over the years they would use ghost workers, they would open ghost stores, meaning stores which in reality did not really exist but would only appear whenever I would come. Library system throughout Zgirsh and Lodge was based like this too. Um, librarian in Grotnikov alone, if you remember, uh, she was like, but um, I don't know what year was it. This never happened. This never happened. I officially appear in year tra la 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 and stuff like this. The same was in Zgirsh and in Lodge in library. I am not done with these libraries yet. I have recognized people not only in this library but in other libraries. Uh, and I have proofs for that. Uh, they would use also workers from other libraries, uh, transfer them to other locations. They would use um, workers from libraries uh, in a certain locations, schools, like the one in Zgirsh and in this library here as well. This also was School of Ling English Language, where they would transfer um, workers from public library during times when I would appear, when they would bring me here to Lodz, to Poland. So they would try to confuse on locations, on timing. Uh, and yes, some owners, they would remain. I would clearly identify all the way back. Um, Americans, just if, if you can just point out Something like, you know, try to hit 2005, 2006, something like this. This was actually a setup when I think about I missed a lot of opportunities that I could hit uh, way back in the past. They suggested just try 2008, 2010, not even 2005, 2006. But if you can do 2005, 2006, and I hit way back. Uh, the thing about it is that uh, nothing here seems to be good enough. When it comes to this case, you have to be uh, as ambitious as possible. And the fear this Slovenian psychiatrist instilled in me in Slovenia was really, really big. They really hurt my self-confidence. And when I was walking in Lodge and this and that, when they brought me here and they're talking to me that I'm going to have to identify and tell this stuff like this, and twice on the row uh, in 2013 and in 2015 when I was hospitalized. Hospitalization inside of a mental hospital was actually used to bring me to Poland. It really had large impact, psychological impact on me. How the hell uh, I was brought to the mental hospital, find myself in the streets of Poland, somebody tell me how I'm going to have to identify stuff like this basically this is what you want to do when you are basically uh, labeled as mentally ill that you want to continue in this direction uh, basically pointing out the stuff 
talk about the stuff like this, that actually did not even cross my mind I'm going to be doing stuff like this. It took a lot of determination, courage to get through. And so, yes, this couple, no, they do not date to 2013, as they suggest. At least 2010, and I anticipate easily even 2008. They are related to some other individual. I am building other cases along this one. I am, will gather more and more and more proofs about the stuff because there is a whole, a whole, a lot I know, and it's still a whole, a whole, a lot that needs to be done. And we'll continue to build and build and build and build. Um, I know for certain people where they were employed, and these buildings no longer even exist, and so on and so forth. A lot of stuff like that. Uh, and so, um, you know, it, it opens when you go to the certain area and you see the certain buildings. Uh, and it was a lot of these lovely people that they would take me and they would tell me, what are you not doing your stuff, Sebastian? You're not doing your stuff. Bob was my name. Uh, you need to hurry up. You need to do this stuff because look what's going on. The buildings are coming down. New buildings are coming up. But I still remember certain things. Of course, I don't, I don't remember everything. This couple was from Syria. And um, what happened was, uh, the lady was the one. She worked in this place. Uh, this was a Polish place. It was just like the Polish lady that was there explains. This Polish lady, um, at one time, back in, I believe, 2006, 2005, this was a really good-looking lady um, who just started to involve herself. You can hear her on the audio. Um, in this case, whenever you would pass by with the staff members, oh, the... The proof that I have, I can tell you that she already lived in vicinity, just nearby. I actually even remember where she lives. Uh, already since 2005, I can tell you this. So yes, I remember this stuff. She is the one. You're going to hear her. Uh, she's something talking karasho, something confused and stuff like this. And is even acting like... Well, in a little funny way, no, because she has reminded me, she's reminding me of something, she plays with her bra and stuff like this, doing all kinds of stuff that knows nothing and this and that, but this reminded me of MK Ultra. so it's trying to trigger the memories. She told me what she would do to signal me to, um, and so on and so forth. This Polish owner, this place, yes, this is an old kebab place. But what, what triggered my attention, um, well, I did. I, I was just, she just got involved in this case. And this is how we got, she got started to flirt with these MK Ultra staff members. Uh, play with me, teased me basically when subjected to MK Ultra and got attention. Uh, that she needed, whatever. Uh, and so, what happened was a Syrian couple, 2013, it's not, really it's not, it was earlier than that, but what happens is, they were not officially admitted. They were not, I remember this stuff too, they were not officially uh, recognized as people here in Poland. They were something with Warsaw, I remember this, we're in Warsaw and we're here and in Warsaw. It's got something to do with the Warsaw too. They were not officially uh, in the country and something like this at least three, five years or something like that. So this could go all the way 2008. They admit 2013, but it could go well to 2000 and um, to 2008, 2010. Of course I have a proof because I have proven them that since 2013 minimum at least they are in Poland and this at least they are in Lodz 
since they claimed me, the couple claimed me, the Syrian couple that you're about to hear that work in Kebab uh, now, claimed me that they're new, they're just new, it's just from Stitchin, from January, it's a brand new store, like a month old store, stuff like that. It is, probably it is in their ownership or whatever the case might be, might be new, this and that, but the thing is that the lady, this lady, the lady from this gentleman, from this Syrian, um, his wife, um, on that MK Ultra, she appeared to me attractive. You know, I was lured by this uh, lady, this Polish blonde that plays over there in the store. On that MK Ultra, you're drugged up. You don't know nothing what's going on. What are you doing at all? Anyways, it's a mess. Okay, confusion. Okay, and so the only thing I did on that MK Ultra, I flirted with the ladies. I watched co good looking cars, watches, and stuff like this. Just the manly stuff. Fishing was of my interest. You know, stuff that males appreciate in this world, whatever. And so this was a whole mess. And the next thing she pops up in front of me and I started to express my interest in her. And before you know, her hubby, Syrian, also jumps in the case. Um, and not a first time, just like so many times before, again, of course, uh, I feel they're teasing me and they did this. They did this like a million occasions. They always had women. They was always be even with a married couple. This was the case. They would use women first. She would play, joke with me, tease me, um, flirt. You know, so you would fall for her, and then all of a sudden, hobby would pop up, and they would joke with you, play with you, that this and that, and I was gonna get married, and tra la la, and nothing with you, and this and that. Okay, with the time, this stuff gets heavy. And again, the same situation repeated, and uh, I was nasty, and with her then, and with him, and really nasty, and I don't know what I was talking about. This play re place reminded me of, me of Biscayne Bay, just as I, myself, I was allowed to be completely unruly. Biscayne Bay, that's like a, along Miami Bay. When you, on your way to downtown, it's gonna be downtown. It's a really, really not a clean, nasty place. Um, where and when prostitutes they would walk back and forth, um, filthy place. Uh, and in Poland here, the place was clean, but I felt so neglected on that MK Ultra that I started to be like simple, um, insultive, um, I just didn't care anymore because I believe that I am allowed to do anything, that I can just go out there and just tell people whatever the hell I want. Before you know, I had a bunch of locals on my ass, even like this under MK Ultra, and they started to insult me, and it was all kinds of stuff that went on. You better believe I remember this couple. And so the two would occasionally work at the Polish owner's is kebab shop. So this is the story behind this couple. Okay, so in my case, what happens is I hit like 100%. Uh, even to 2005, even to 2000, even to earlier time I did. Or it's something like this, that people just came out of nowhere all of a sudden. They moved to the store. They opened the store. Uh, all of a sudden, it's a new store and this and that. Um, or, yeah, usually this is what the case is. In this couple, this is pretty much identical situation as set up. Or it could be situation up to like a year and a half, two years. Okay, the nurse in Lechnichka, uh, six, uh, six in Zgirsh, I think it's six in Zgirsh, they set her up, they introduced her into a, a system in 2017 when I was brought from the Belarus. Uh, uh, actually, no, excuse me, in 2018 when I came to Grotniki. 
No, she was already in this hospital whenever I would come already for I don't even know how many years. And so the idea now is when you come and you start to identify in the stuff that was there for a long, long, long time, uh, you also press uh, on a button or if you like, you step on a landmine that suggests the wrong answer like this, kind of a funny. So they knew exactly where you would be coming to a certain location and they would plant the people inside to confuse and dating and timing. And this is like a perfect example. There will be more examples like this as I go over the videos. It's going to be a lot of videos like this that I'm going to be pointing out. And so, okay, so this is one of them. Yeah, really well recognized people, couple. They smile, they give me, they give you a yes and this, but they're smart enough not to say yes and this and that. But sometimes they say, and if you amplify the sound, in some cases you're going to hear them and this and that. So, bunch of videos, very interesting videos are coming. When I was recognized, when I recognized, uh, when I get even confirmations from the people, uh, it's going to be all kinds of advice. Uh, I mean, it's going to be all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm going to play down now uh, to prove more about this MK Archer involvement all the way to the gentleman who already agreed to even have interview with me and give all the whole story, the whole account out about what went on, basically about one of the MK Archer staff members. So it should be interesting now uh, with coming videos. Uh, this was recorded yesterday on my way back to hostel, which was February the 18th of 2020. Ja pamiętam co, to było, ale pamiętam. 
to pełnie tutaj tyle ludzi, że jakby pani miała pamiętać i nie ta każdego to by została. No, ale na pewno pamięta. No, pamięta to jest. Pani łódź tak duża, że. Na pewno, na pewno to tak jest. A ja pani nie wiem, co ja mieszkam. Dobrze, ja wam zrobiłem przykres i tak ja przepraszam. Że dwa się dwa razy zastanowić, za, 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 nim się to zrobi, za, za panie. Okej, okay. okay. co to pokojnie jest pani? Czy jest to y, polską, y, ruską, czy jest to się? Proszę, proszę, kutek. Proszę, proszę, kutek. Dobrze. Okej, okay. bardzo dziękuję. Dobra noc.
I pracowali przed tym od obawu? Nie, nie, nie. Ty pierwszy raz chyba? Pierwszy raz tak. Aha. I to tu ułożył jeszcze. Cały czas. I to się ułożył w 2014 roku. Cały czas? Miałby też, ja, ja chciałby, to nie wierzę, by nie wiedział mnie do mnie. Od mojej przeszłości. Dobra. Dobra. Pamiętajcie. Pamiętajcie. Do you remember me? Speak English, right? Speak English. Speak English. Speak English. I hope that you don't resent me from my past. I know that. So you have to be used to help me see you. I found the truth. I said that the CRO, the Volvo, the Astro, the French, the French, the Serbian. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I found the truth. No, ja jestem tak nauczyciel angielskiego języka. Angielskiego języka. Ja angielskiego języka. Jestem w Słowenii, ja jestem w Słowenii. Ja jestem w Słowenii. I was brought here first from the US. When I was in the US. No CIA, no one in it. They are here since January. Uh, this is a kebab shop right in front of uh, well job company that gives you employment, employment, employment uh, company. Um, they are here since January. Imagine this, and I knew they are not. Uh, they, they work in a kebab shop. They're from Syria. I could not go wrong. Norway gentleman, not with her. Um, both are from Syria, and of course they do not remember anything. Uh, they uh, Bolani. That means uh, Bolani means uh, sick in Slovenian language. Uh, not uh, Polish, anything like this. I was very bad to them under MK Ultra to this couple in particular uh, who used to work in this shop for the Polish individual this was a kebab shop and this couple really, really nice people <laughs> wanted to help me out they're from Syria these are not like latest refugees from Syria or anything like this. Just people that came from Syria here, they wanted to live here. A beautiful, nice, kind couple whom I, unfortunately, I heavily insulted. Now, I was pretty sure this was at least in 2010, but they did admit at me they are in Poland already since 2013 and they also admitted me in the lodge alone since 2013. 
and so I can guarantee again that the two worked in this very kebab shop for the Polish owner. They claim they don't, did not, don't know anything about kebab. This is the first time, this and that. Uh, but it's not so. They are, according to both of them, here since 2013, and this in Lodz. So they gave me a green light, basically, for setup from the state. Because the state knew whom I remember from the past. And so what they did was they they said they tried to set me up like this with stuff that so that I would say that uh, you know prove me wrong or something like this. Now people are timid to admit there is a politic here involved, but this kind of information proves uh, the point here that it's a setup from the state. So Syrian people since 2013 right here in Lodz. They were here, I believe, even earlier. I anticipate in 2010. Uh, maybe not officially, I